what we're doing here, let's be very real, it could all go tits up tomorrow. Because we're going to be sneaky, because we're heading into the, uh, the embassy of China. They're both. <laughs> documents and then come back. The second we've got the documents, we'll get it. Jude keep me other mobile, we'll bring them out, and we've got a couple of the passports done, and then we'll get it sorted. The photocopy of the passport is no problem, I can do that myself. Then, um, billet d'avion, aller retour, they have that. Um, attestation du logement is all good. They just need the attestation financière sous forme de um, Attestation de travail. Okay, I'm gonna figure out the insurance situation. So one for me, one for Nick, yeah? Okay, thanks. Okay, so we did it. We got the fucking visa sorted, we're gonna pick it up tomorrow, we're gonna to go pay. Um, so yeah, that's like a big... Uh, we're going to motherfucking China, man. Uh, I need some breakfast. Yeah. Uh, we can do the Volkswagen. Go to China. I'm gonna focus on the shoot before, so good news. So on the way to get Mariano. He's arriving at three, and then we're going back to the hotel to check him in, and then directly to the shoot. I can see you. Hello. How's it going, you good? good? Good to see you. Very good, nice to meet you. You're from London. So I'm German. Oh, okay, you're German. Yeah, I'm oh. German. Um, I moved Munich. Munich. Okay. In Italy, what you said, Monaco. Monaco, yes. Monaco. Yeah. I you speak. I speak a bit, a bit of French, no Italian. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this year, I closed the deal with Honda. You know the motorbike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the project is like my dream. Yeah. Like, like the project is going to Africa with the motorbike, going to Morocco with the motorbike. It's like, yo, do you even well, pay me for that? Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Thank you, man. Like in advertising in general, slowly but surely, people are understanding that making 30-second TV spots for TV and putting millions in it is not, it's not effective because people's attention is where? Here. It's, it's, you know, always. And, and but because of the guys at the top making the decisions on where to cut the marketing plan, where to invest the budget, they're not on Snapchat, they're not on Instagram, they're not, you know, to a certain degree, not even on Facebook. So, my great guy here remembered me to use Snapchat, which is good. And that's what we're saying to clients, look, let's co-create. Let's work with the guys that have the attention. And do something and that people are interested exactly. in. So we make something that they actually enjoy. So for us, so I'd like to say, Mariana, do you want to come to this meeting with me? And you know, let's talk to the brand and see what do you want to do? What do you think is going to, going to be effective? I spoke to Unbox Therapy quite late last night. So he's basically got a guy who makes like wooden boxes, very stylish, custom. And uh, you know, if we want to put the tagline on it, or like the P9 logo, the Huawei logo, we can integrate it. What do, if it's, it's up to you what preference you have. I think maybe not too many logos. Just a tagline, yeah. maybe in stylish lettering. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah? And then not maybe too we commercial. Not too good. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Like a very stylish box, but when you open it up, the phone comes out. There's a mechanic in it to reveal the phone. Why don't we make something that people actually want to see because it's something they wanted to do? Now we were a little bit bored, so... <laughs> started flying low! So I was like, my dream was to do the Route 66 with the yeah. motorbike. Yeah. Like, why don't we do it? Even if we don't have the motorbike, I don't care, but why don't we do the Route 66? And through the way we show video and photos, fashionable, of course, we're yeah. fashionable, but through a thing that people are going to be like, yo, I want to see the next photo, where are they? Yeah, where are yeah, they? Yeah, Did yeah, they yeah. move? Did they, they, I don't know. Dude, it was the best success ever. Though.
it's fun for you. Then you do. Let me when it's fun for you, you, you know, you it's do it better. Audience, you, exactly, exactly. It's fun for the others too. 99% of the time it's like that. No, I'm glad. I'm glad um, me too. we're on the same page. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Um, in terms of the discussion I had with Tony, it was more about, you know, the angel reference. You know, so it doesn't have to be the angels, but if there's a human, like a statue of a, a human form or a shape, because he, his art is about drawing, drawing people, there's a, some synergy. If it's just an abstract shape, I think he's going to say to me, I don't really understand the relevance. You know, me drawing shapes, that's not me as an artist. But I can speak to him. Cool. See you very much. I think, okay, look, I think it went well. It's just a more pleasant environment when people are easygoing and understanding. And, and I have to say, I, I quite enjoyed working with Mariano, quite an easygoing guy. You never quite know what to expect, right? And that makes you like just want to work hard for him and ensure he's happy. And, you know. <laughs> it's all right. We're all good. Let's uh, let's put this down. A little update. So Mariano like knows a lot of people, and he's he's cool, you know, like very uh, down to earth and easygoing. Yeah, cool. Send me the deck, and I'll review it. Okay, guys. See you then. Bye.